Welcome everybody, my name is Phantom. Now Infinite Warfare Zombies have supply drops and this was my initial reaction. Well at least I think it was. So yes, supply drops are back and better than ever? No, not really. But yeah, they're in multiplayer again and they're in zombies again and that's what we're going to talk about because we are a zombies channel. So. Here is a picture of the sort of interface or the menu if you like. Now as you can see you have the common ones and the rare ones. So the common is 10 keys and the rare is 30 keys. And what you get from these crates or supply drops whatever are the Fate and Fortune cards which are basically gobble gums from Black Ops 3. And if you see the little devil's face on the screen that's where the Fate and Fortune cards are. So they're basically cards and you can hold more than one at a time and you can sort of shuffle through them. Apart from that, these cards work exactly the same as Gobblegums from Black Ops 3 Zombies. And this is Infinite Warfare, so there's going to be people complaining, because Mr. Rothwaffles did a video talking about this, and there's loads of comments saying this game's dead before it even started, saying that this is going to ruin Zombies like it did to multiplayer, but that's just people uh, complaining about Infinite Warfare, because, I mean, it, that's just what happens now, you know? rest in peace Call of Duty or whatever but then these people don't realise that this system was in Black Ops 3 Zombies and no one complained. This supply drops in Infinite Warfare Zombies is no different whatsoever to Dr. Monty's factory in Black Ops 3. However I can see people disappointed in it coming back but there's no point in saying try and act like this is a new thing to Call of Duty Zombies and or a new thing to Call of Duty in general, and I agree it should go away, but it's not because Activision, it, it's all their fault. Activision, Activision want the pay to win for some reason. However, I can say to you that V Supply Drops and Infinite Warfare is not going to change the way that you would enjoy the game if they weren't there. It's going to make no difference really, because you don't have to pay for it if you don't want to. You can earn the keys in game, and I think there's, it's quite easy to get these keys. So that's about it for this video, if you did enjoy remember to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with Zombies in Spaceland information, thank you.